on this marvelous Monday, June the 24th, time for the love talk of the day. And uh, as many of you know, I did uh, the BET Awards yesterday and such an awesome experience. And um, next year, BET will be 40. And I was blessed to go to the, app, the very first BET Awards in Vegas. I'm saying all that to say, um, when I was at the very first, I had no idea that who I am now is who I would be. And I love what I do. I love um, sometimes even the challenges that come come with it. Um, but you have to really, really love what you do because sometimes the things that will face you and will come at you while you're doing it won't always be comfortable. So here's a little insight to the red carpet. So the red carpet is always a bit chaotic. There's always a bunch of people there and um, bigger stars and uh, people who are executives that work, work for the network and and you're standing there and people are pushing and people are pull, pulling and the publicists are like, this person needs to go next. And, you know, you're standing there and, and, and Tyler Perry walks past, Mary J walks past. And because I've, you know, I've, I've been doing this for a while, there's always somebody going, Erica Campbell, you know, but it's such chaos. But what I've learned is if I didn't love this, I would not do this. So my, my niece came with me who turned 15 and Krista and her mom. And at the end of the night, they said, yeah, I don't have to ever do a red carpet again. Like, I don't ever have to endure that. And then here's the even more disturbing part of it. When you get on the carpet and then they're taking your picture, but a bigger star comes just slightly to your left, all the cameras turn slightly to your left. And you have to be so confident. And Warren and Krista were standing next to me. And they even said, let's just go to the next person. I said, no, because there's two that are still looking at us. So smile, even though all the cameras are pointing in that direction, because there's a bigger star to my left. It's okay. I wasn't bothered or moved by it because I love what I do. I know my position and purpose. I know I'm a gospel artist. So I know sometimes what we have to go through is a little different if somebody come and they got a little less clothes on. That's fine. That's I don't I don't feel bothered by that. I don't feel minimized by that. It doesn't bother my self-esteem. I love what I do. I love who I work for. And there are plenty of scriptures that talk about being a gospel artist, being a minister of not being a gospel artist because it doesn't say that in the Bible, but being a minister of the gospel will be uncomfortable and people won't always want to hear what you have to say, right? And you won't be the most popular. That's okay with me because I work for God. So I love what I do. I love my boss and I love it enough to endure the uncomfortable things that go along with it. Um, 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 I love it enough to uh, keep pushing when someone is interviewing you, but their eyes are slightly to the left waiting for someone else to come. Some people couldn't endure that. That would feel, ooh, it would feel too crazy. Like you're not even talking to me. It would feel so disregarded. But I know beyond the person that's doing the interview, there's a whole audience that's paying attention. And that audience doesn't know that the interviewer is not really paying attention, um, but it's okay. You know, um, I'm strong enough and I've been doing it long enough to know that what I'm here to do is bigger than that. And so I love my 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 boss. I love my job. I work for God. Um, and I understand if I just reach two people, if two people hear Jesus because I'm there, then I'm happy. You know, I'm sure it was more than two, um, you know, but I'm giving you an example of what it is like sometimes. And it's not always comfortable, um, but it's fine. I'm built for it. And um, I was glad to be at the BET Awards yesterday, especially with my family, because uh, so many people said, I love the show. I listen all the time. So shout out to everybody uh, <laughs> who woke up this morning to listen listen to us. All right. Um, that's my love talk for today, ladies and gentlemen. Love you and I mean it.